Hi YouTube, uh, I am here. This is the intro to my Reading Rush vlog. I hope y'all like it. I have never made a vlog before, so I will take any pointers or advice that y'all have on how to make better vlogs, or if y'all just want to tell me you liked it, that's awesome too. Uh, so the only thing I'm really going to say in this intro, because the vlog is waiting, is that you'll notice that there's a couple of adjustments that I made pretty early on from what I said in the TBR video to what I'm actually going to like be showing in this video um, for like what I'm reading in the vlog. Firstly, I did start Alexander Dumas's Louis Del Valier a little bit early because it is a very large book, but that will be my um, international or takes place on a different continent than um, the one I'm currently living in book. I, I, I didn't see anywhere that like you couldn't just start like a longer book a little bit early but I just what if I wasn't supposed to that's my bad but I just knew I wasn't gonna have to have time to read that entire book during the week with everything else and I wanted to not rush it because I like his writing and all that so first thing second thing the book for entirely outside my house is going to be the audible newly released production of Neil Gaiman's Sandman. I think it's the like the first two or three graphic novels that are in this um, 10 hour audible production. Um, it's one of the uh, the ones where they have a full cast and everything. It has its style of name. That's going to be my book that I read not in my house because I realize that I have to do like 12 hours of driving at the end of this week. Not looking forward to it because it hasn't happened yet. But I figured that'd be the best way for me to handle all that other time I'm going to be spending in the car. And also, it's a really good audiobook so far. I like it. So I will be listening to the majority of it at the end of the week with for to, to meet up with that point or that challenge. Um, I haven't read the graphic novelization of this before, so I don't really know what to expect for it. But I think I'll enjoy it. So without further ado... I hope y'all enjoy the vlog. Good morning, YouTube. I am starting the reading rush. It is Monday morning. I had a doctor's thing really early, so just wanted to check and say hi. I'm back home now, and I just uh, have my Starbucks coffee, and I have my book, and I'm just reading, reading, reading. Uh, I do work a lot, so I'm trying to get, get up early in the morning before work and, like, read some then and then read some after work so yeah that's all i hope y'all are enjoying the reading rush so far and that you are reading all the books you said you were going to i'm trying hey guys i'm just doing a quick little check-in on the vlog i read about half of miss Bourne's secret history this morning and during my lunch break so far so good i love it i have a spoiler spoilery heavy comment so if you haven't read the like Cosmere works and stuff with the Mistborn novels. Just like skip 30 seconds or something, but Kelsier, I love him. My heart. And I'm glad we're getting this like story. I This has been really enjoyable to read so far and now I'm going to get back to work. I'm hopefully going to finish this book early this evening because I need to read my book for my book club and which meets tomorrow and then I would like to make some more progress on the longer book I'm reading tonight. That's my goal is to read the short book every day and make progress on the couple longer books I'm reading um, to hopefully maximize how many books I can read during this. So just my quick check-in. I'll check in with y'all later, hopefully when I finish this. Ooh, also go check out my fun picture where I tried to match the Dr. Sleep cover with my... <laughs> this is the... it's a This is a Mr. Brightside shirt, but it was made based on the Stephen King resurgence, which is why there's the bleeding eye out of, like, The Shining. So, I love it. Anyways, I went and posted that today, which is Monday. So, thanks for watching. See y'all next time. I'm clearly trying to read as much as possible today because I don't know what the rest of the week holds for me. But I went ahead and I believe in the last check and I told you I finished Miss Born Secret History. I read my chapters... So I'm about halfway done with this. I might try and finish this this week if I'm feeling frisky. But also, I have four more weeks of book club, so I don't want to rush through it necessarily. Um, and I am now reading The Pearl. I think I can finish this one pretty early today. It's like a really... I, I know it's a full novel, apparently, but it's more of a novella at 118 pages. So 
The Pearl by John Steinbeck. I'm excited to read it. I would have loved to live in a world where books only cost 75 cents. That's, a, that's insane. That would have been so nice. Anyways, I'm going to read this and then I will hopefully make a little bit more progress on my book from a foreign country. This one, The Pearl, was my the book I touched first from the selected mini TBR pile of short books. So if I finish this one, I will finish the birthstone and book I touched first one. And then I'll hopefully make some more progress on this big dude tonight. So I'll check in with y'all later. Um, that's about it. All right, so just doing a little check and I've read about half of the pearl here. Calling this like a classic fable sensitively told um, is a good way to describe this book. It's definitely one of those things that you're supposed to like learn from what happens to the characters and um, just like the journey that these two particular people have. It started off like sweet for like two pages and then like someone got stung by a poisonous scorpion and now it's all stressful and they're trying to find the pearl and I think overall I I do always enjoy John Steinbeck's writing and I think that uh, I will learn something about like morality or I think or I think it's more about like how money can control you that's what I'm getting because the pearl that they find is worth a lot and all this stuff so I will check back in with you while I'm done. This has been a very productive reading day so far. After I get off of work, I'm going to exercise, and then I'll probably finish this and try and knock out a couple hundred pages of Louis de Valier, because it's really long, and then tomorrow I'll pick up one of my other short books and do the same thing. Yeah, whew, happy reading rush day one. Hi everyone, uh, so I'm sorry this video is so grainy, my lighting is real bad, I'm like filming off my laptop, so apologize in advance, but here we are, so end of day one for the reading rush, I have read two books, I and made a lot of progress in this one, so that is good, I'll tell you all the page numbers and stuff in a second, but I read The Pearl, which is my point in the first one I touched book and then I also read Miss Bourne Secret History um, as the birthstone book. This Alexander Dumas book is which is the beautiful Oxford Classics edition. I just love it. It's so pretty. I found it at a used bookstore for like six dollars and it was not used at all. Like I broke the spine today. Anyways um, this is my takes place on a different continent that I don't live on. Um, I'm not from Europe, so, and I'm, I also live in the United States now. Clearly, according to the map there, Europe and, oop, Europe and the United States. <laughs> um, but anyways, from this book, I think I read a total of 195 pages? I'm not really sure. But, overall, today I have read... 556 pages, which is insane. Um, it's a lot more reading than I've done recently, so this is like in one day, so this has been fun. Um, I did realize in my videos and stuff, unless I'm overlapping, I don't have a specific book for the the. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, because I'm a little ahead of schedule, I'm going to go ahead and try and sneak in Jack Kerouac's The Subterraneans. Um, I believe it's fiction, and it's like about his wanderings in California whenever he existed. Uh, 1950s. So that'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. It's like one of the like coming of age but like the young you're already a young adult and then you're like coming becoming a real adult situation. So it should be fun. It should be good. I'm excited. So uh, overall I had a really fun time reading today. Just a quick commentary on the pearl. Um, it was really good. I, like I mentioned, I think earlier, I do really love John Steinbeck, but this was interesting because it's like, it's obviously a, like a parable and you're tr it's trying to like teach you a lesson or something in the, in what you're reading. But the way it was done was like, it, it teaches you, I think if I read it again, I would glean something new out of it. But like it, it has a lot of different topics about like, greed and um just like being too ambitious and things like that and then like there's stuff about culture divisions and all that jazz so 
there was a lot of content and like information you could learn from the pearl and just the 111 pages that it was so anywho i'm probably gonna try and knock this guy out tonight or another like 100 pages of this one or the other um i will check back in with y'all tomorrow and i'll probably have a few more than 556 pages read tonight if i read a little bit more but uh yeah I also at this point have decided I'm going to do two vlogs for the entire week because I already filmed a shit ton of stuff. I filmed a lot of stuff uh, for this um, vlog already and I don't, I've never really done a vlog and I feel like I'll be less intimidated by the editing if I break it up into two sections. So we're going to try that. We're going to have a part one and then a part two. I'll probably post this one on Thursday morning ideally. Yeah, well. I'll catch y'all in the morning. was pleasantly surprised that the last like small chunk of this book like this much is like historical references and things so I only have another like 180 pages to read so that will be no problem for today so I will check in with y'all again after I get off of work or during lunch or whenever I read next I'll, I'll keep y'all posted <laughs> okay just checking in over my lunch break at work and I have I read in, during the entire lunch break, and I read the three parts of After Our Last Airbender, The Promise, which I think is the first one in the graphic novel or manga. I'm not sure which it actually falls into. Um, anyways, I loved it a lot. I read it during my lunch break. 276 pages in all. Or, that's not right. 228 pages in all. Each are 76 pages. Uh, I really enjoyed it, and now I'm back to work. And that's it. So I think I'm total, in total, I'm gonna go back. I am up to 885 pages read in two days. That's insane. Anyways, uh, I'll check in with y'all later. Hey, booktube, I am back. Um, I just finished my work day and I am reading Louise de la And I was watching a couple of these vlogs that have been posted already earlier. And I remembered that we're supposed to dress like our book cover for some bonus points or something like that, or just to meet the vlogging challenges. I'm really struggling with this thing, the scarf here, but I'm going to dress like the cover of this book. She's sitting on a red chair, so I moved my little red cushion around, and she's wearing a blue scarf. So, one moment. And I think the challenge was to dress like the book you were reading during the vlog, so... And then I put on my white shirt. I don't have something that's gold fringe, but I feel like I'm aesthetically pleasing. Be matching this book cover now. So, that's all, folks. Just kidding. I'm now going to continue reading this. I'm going to finish this tonight. I did, as I mentioned earlier, already finished the Avatar books during my lunch break, which were super fun. Uh, love them. I now need to go buy all of the rest of them. I guess I should leave this on for the portion of this video that I'm filming, but... I also started doing some vlog editing, which is exciting. I don't hate it so far, so that's good. Um, I will keep y'all posted, and I might, for the sake of the vlog, let y'all join my workout this evening. Because I'm going to do that, too. So, I will check in with y'all when I hopefully finish this book tonight, and maybe for my workout. We'll see. Good morning, everyone. Uh... It is Wednesday, 
I am almost done with this. I was trying to finish it last night, but I was way too tired, so I just went to bed. Uh, yeah. I will catch up with y'all after I read some. I just want to say good morning. And, uh, yeah, that's it. I have finished Louisa La Valieri by Alexander Dumas, and it was actually really good. The intrigue, the drama, it was compelling, and I now need to read The Man in the Iron Mask because that's the third book in the series. I think the beginning was hard for me because I didn't read the first book, and I didn't realize there was a first book until I was like 200 pages in, so it was too late at that point, but it was very good. I am now reading The Princess Bride as my book and movie situation. Uh, I just hosted a read-in for the Texas time zone area, and it was really fun. I'm going to also be posting that video on YouTube, so it'll probably be there soon. I'm now going to go exercise, <laughs> and uh, then I'll probably read some more tonight. I'll check in with them. I will check in with y'all later. Alrighty, I have read 90 pages plus. I accidentally read the very, very, very long 25th anniversary edition intro and the other intro which is part of the 90 pages of the princess bride uh it's been really enjoyable so far i am glad i did get a pretty aggressive head start on my reading on monday because my reading pages have definitely gone down which is what i expected to happen this week and i'm now having to like travel for the rest of the weekend with my driving so I will be listening to my audiobook for The Sandman. It's my book not in my house. And, um, yeah, so I think for today, which is Wednesday, I've read 273 pages, putting my total page count at 1292 or 1292 pages. I am on my sixth book, which is nuts. And, yeah gonna do a few more pages of reading uh, it's almost midnight actually my time so they'll probably count for tomorrow's pages um and i'm just gonna go to bed i don't know what i'm doing with my hair i apologize for that so i had said earlier in this vlog and this was me correcting it that i was gonna post like two i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna just post one at the end and it's gonna be really long and y'all are gonna love it or not finish it so uh it will be posted before Tuesday, so that way I can enter to win the whatever you win if you enter your vlog on the particular YouTube video that Raylene and Ariel put up. And overall, I really enjoyed the reading rush. It's helped me to like read fast and be really excited about reading again, so this has been fun. And I know I mentioned I had a... Uh, I partook in one of the read-ins and I hosted it and I recorded it so it will be probably up on YouTube before this video is but I had a really fun time and I got to um, the girls that the girls that showed up for um, my read-in were super sweet and we had a good time we did two whole reading sprints and so yeah that was it but I'll say good night to y'all now and I will check in with y'all tomorrow probably not gonna read before work because I have to drive tomorrow night, so I'm probably going to try and get as much sleep as humanly possible. Hi Booktube, it is Thursday morning at this point, and I'm going to have to finish making my vlog like today, um, so I'm, because I'm leaving town so I can have it like scheduled to post, um, and I realized I didn't do the tell a bookish story. Also, I'm not wearing my glasses because the lighting is really terrible right now, as y'all can probably tell. So it like really made my face all shadowed. So this will just be quick. But um, I had a really hard time coming up with this, like the answer to this, like my favorite bookish story. So I'm gonna just tell you a bookish story that I have good, a lot of fun mem memories associated with. Um, so I'm gonna tell you about John Steinbeck's *The Moon Is Down*. I don't actually have a lot of memories, like, of reading the book, like, I'm pretty sure there's, like, a conquered people and all that here, but the bookish story I like is that I was in Paris, um, France, obviously, 
and I went to Shakespeare and Company Bookstore, and that is where I bought this. So the whole bookstore was amazing, and I loved it. And this was this is just like one of the prettiest book covers I have ever seen. Like, can you? There's a whole bunch going on. There's stars. Um, it took me all of my soul to not buy another copy of this book, East of Eden. <laughs> oh, here, yeah. At the Shakespeare and Company bookstore. This is the coffee mug from that. It holds my bookmarks. Because this is my favorite book, but I already own two copies of this book. So, this was my consolation prize. And the book actually was... I, I really did enjoy reading it, but that was probably one of my favorite bookish stories. was just the act of, like getting to wander around this bookstore that like has such history and the people that used to like just like sleep there and write or whatever um it was pretty astounding I'm pretty sure Hemingway was a regular at that store not that I love Hemingway's writing but just the name I can remember off the top of my head so yeah a favorite bookish memory I that was one of my favorite bookstores I've been to so and yeah I'd love to go back and like spend more time there um, but I was with people who read less than I do, so it was more of a stop by, stay for an hour situation. I didn't get to really like sit and read, but I mean, all enjoyed. All, it was all very enjoyable no matter what, so love. This is my favorite bookish memory for this video. Challenge done. And reading check in this morning, I managed to read another 30 or so pages after midnight's clock struck, so I'm going to go enter those on Thursday's numbers, but besides that, uh, I'm going to read this today, I'm going to get to really start reading um, my audiobook for Sandman, and I'm going to show you all again for the sake of showing you. Um, there's not going to be really content of me, like video content of me reading this because I'm going to be driving by myself for many hours. But yeah, I really enjoyed making this vlog and doing the reading rush. Uh, I think I'll post a video, I'll film and post a video next week just of my overall thoughts and like kind of just wrapping up all the books I did read. But this has been really enjoyable and uh, yeah, it was very fun. As you can tell, I'm very tired. I look it in my arm my eyes. I decided to wear a sweater because my house is really cold and I kind of wanted to be cozy for my last morning of reading, but in my house at least. So I will, um, this is probably the end of my vlog, but it was really nice hanging with y'all and all that jazz. I'm, I'm going to still try and do some of the Instagram challenges. We will see how successful I am, but that's all for now. Happy, happy reading rush, everybody. I have read four, five, and a third books in this vlog. Hopefully I get a chance to finish this fifth, the sixth book and the other one this weekend.